2025 Psycho President. When I first got into the Odyssey, this introductory journalism class in ninth grade, former Psycho President said, Lucas Donnelly said something that stuck with me. Everybody has a story. When I first heard him say this, I thought it was stupid. The kind of thing Big Bird would say after Elmo had mansplained the alphabet to me for the hundredth time. As a wide-eyed freshman, just like little Sam Harwell somewhere over there in the Odyssey section, the students, staff, and community members I interviewed were just people and nothing more. With all due respect to Big Bird and Lucas, I couldn't see it any other way. It wasn't until my sophomore year as sports editor when I wrote my first ever profile on my school's starting quarterback and his father that I started to understand what Lucas had meant. Going to my interview with him, I had no idea what the story should be about. I had no idea. But then, when I began to listen to what they said in the interview, I started to see their story clearly. It was about the intertwined hopes and dreams of a dad who'd made it and a son who wanted to follow in his footsteps. It wasn't until then that I truly understood what journalism was about. It was about finding a story and retelling it to the people that needed to know. This approach to journalism is what has guided me as a student journalist with the Odyssey and what will guide me as your 2025 Cycle President. I want to use Cycle's extraordinary platform across the South to re-emphasize the importance of storytelling in all its forms. Too often, publications, including the Odyssey, are quick to produce a two-dimensional written story without considering the best way to tell it. Why not tell it in a video? Why not in a podcast? Why not in a multimedia package online? In my community, testing data shows that only 15% of elementary school students are proficient in reading. 15%. That's 85% who are not proficient in reading. We want students to get engaged with all of our content, and we want all students to be able to do that. Right now, alternative methods of storytelling are the only way we can actually do that. Equally, it's time for the student journalists in this room to start sharing their stories with one another. I've attended SIPA every year for 2022. I was one of the kids standing up for the three years. And I've come away every single time, and hopefully this time, wanting more interaction with all the students here outside of my program. As a freshman, I attended a SIPA session on Sports Media Days, led by Larry Steinmetz, who was just up here, of Bullet East High School in Kentucky. This unique session proved to be a spark and inspired. I worked with my advisor, David Ragsdale, in the back, and fellow staff members, including some folks over there, to start Odyssey Media Days. Fast forward two days later, two years later, and Media Days have turned into thriving events attended by most student athletes at Clark Central, even those in non-traditional sports like eSports or alternative programs like drama. You can tell by the way the athletes fluff up their hair and flex their often non-existent biceps. These kids are begging to have their stories told, and we're finally doing it now. When we work together, we can get even farther. With an emphasis on student-led presentations and discussion, I want to see student journalists from across state lines work together to further their journalistic abilities and take advantage of their brief time together. I want to conclude with the thing that starts every good story. It's a question, and it's for everyone here today. The question is, what are you doing to tell the stories of your community? Think about it. As much as my snotty, stubby, bowl-cutted freshman self would hate to admit it, Lucas, and probably Big Bird too, who write about our stories. They're all out there. Our only job is to find them. I look forward to doing that alongside all of you next year. Thank you. And now I will give my phone back to Asa for an introduction of our keynote speaker.